What's going on guys, welcome back. Today we have a nice little basic group theory problem. It says, let G be a finite group and let N be a normal subgroup of G such that the centralizer of N under G is a subgroup of N. So its centralizer is a subgroup of itself. Show that the order of G is less than or equal to the order of N factorial. Now, when I'm attempting to write a proof of a statement like this, the first thing I do is I look at my conclusion that I'm supposed to get. And I look at aspects of that conclusion and I ask, how can I involve aspects of this conclusion in a statement involving these objects? In other words, I see that there's a factorial here. Now I ask, how can I get a factorial involved with these objects? How can I get an order of n factorial? Well, the first thing that comes to mind for me is the automorphism group of n. Now the automorphisms on the subgroup of n are always going to be bijections on the set of n that fix the identity. A bijection on a set can be thought of as a rearrangement of the set's elements. So we're arranging the elements of n, but we're leaving the identity alone. How many different ways can we rearrange a set of n objects? We can arrange them in factorial different ways. So since we're rearranging everything but the identity of n, we can rearrange them the order of n minus one factorial different ways. And so that tells us that the order of the automorphism group of n must be less than or equal to the order of n minus one factorial. Now it's less than or equal to because not every bijection that preserves the identity will be an automorphism. It still has to preserve the operation on the group. So this is an upper bound. Now I want to involve some of the other objects. So the question is, how can I get a centralizer involved in a statement regarding the automorphism group of n? Well, a very important result about normalizers and centralizers is that if we have a subgroup of a group G and we take its normalizer and we quotient by its centralizer, we always get a group that is isomorphic to some subgroup of the automorphism group of that subgroup. Let me write that out. So if we have any subgroup of group G, say H, then the normalizer of H under G quotient by the centralizer of H under G is isomorphic to some subgroup of H's automorphism group. Now, I claim that these two facts are precisely what we need to prove this statement. Now, I'll give you a chance to pause the video so that you can attempt to use these two facts to show that the order of G is less than or equal to the order of n factorial. So let's do that right now. All right, let's begin by applying that second statement to the subgroup n of g. Since n is a subgroup of g, we can say that the normalizer under g of n quotient with the centralizer under g of n is isomorphic to j, where this is some subgroup of the automorphism group of n. All right, now as this quotient group is isomorphic to j, the order of this quotient group is equal to the order of j. And since j is a subgroup of the automorphism group of n, the order of j is less than or equal to the order of the automorphism group of n. So we can write the following. Now let's use that first thing we said. The order of the automorphism group of n we know to be equal to the order of n minus one factorial. So we have that the order of this quotient is less than or equal to the order of n minus one factorial. So it looks like we're getting close here. Now the order of this quotient group is the quotient of the orders. So we can write this. So we have the order of the normalizer of n divided by the order of the centralizer of n, and that is less than or equal to the order of n minus one factorial. Now let's look at the left hand side. We have the normalizer under G of n, but n is a normal subgroup of G. So when we take its normalizer under G, 
we just get the whole group G. So we have this. All right, now we'll go ahead and multiply both sides by the order of the centralizer. Now we're gonna use that last assumption that we haven't used yet. The centralizer of N is a subgroup of N. Hence, the order of the centralizer is less than the order of N. Therefore, the order of G is definitely less than this, but replace this with the order of N. So we have the following. As again, the order of N is larger than the order of the centralizer of N. And the order of N minus one factorial times the order of N is the order of N factorial. And so the proof is complete. The order of G is less than or equal to the order of N factorial. Now this problem actually had a second part. It wanted an example of a group with a normal subgroup N of order four where this upper bound was actually met. So I'll tell you that the G we're looking for is S4, the symmetric group on four elements. I'll leave it to you to find the normal subgroup we need and to show that the upper bound really is met in that case. But that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.